Now, as the virus spreads, a major problem has developed for the American Red Cross. Yeah, there's a major blood shortage because holding large blood drives right now is out of the question. So what do they do now? For the answers, we turn to Mara McDonald. She's live downtown tonight with more. Mara. Kimberly, hi. If you told me that I was going to be giving blood today, I wouldn't have believed you, but that's exactly where we're at right now. We are at the Red Cross's Warren Outpost giving blood right now. The situation is serious. Hospitals are running at a critical shortage, all courtesy of the coronavirus. Take a look. The email from Michigan Medicine echoes what every hospital is dealing with across the state. I am standing in the blood bank at Michigan Medicine, it starts, in Ann Arbor. I am looking at the refrigerator that contains only one day's supply of blood for the hospital. The hospital is full, there are patients who need blood and cannot wait. Because so many workplaces have been shut down, that means so many blood drives have been too. Since most of us are going to have some time on our hands, get on redcross.org and sign up to come in. From uh, late last week, uh, 162, 162 drives have been canceled, and that equates to over 5,000, 5,115 units of blood fewer collected uh, than what we anticipated. That's a lot of blood, and uh, that's why we really need to get the message out and appreciate uh, the support of the station and everyone. Just if you're healthy and able, really. Uh, search out and find a blood drive uh, near you and donate blood. Back here live on any given day, they have major hygiene protocols, you know, in place at Red Cross donation centers. They've amped it up even further. For example, the minute I walked in here, somebody was taking my temperature to make sure that I didn't have a fever. You have to go through the health questionnaire. I have been swabbed so many times by Cheryl with alcohol that I probably smell all the way down the street. Um, but she's a sharpshooter and she got this needle in here and I'm gonna be out of here uh, pretty quickly. So here's the thing. Redcross.org, it's real easy. All you've got to do is put your zip code in. It'll show you where your donation site is, and then you can get online and make an appointment. And yes, they are absolutely practicing social distancing here as well. Kimberly and Devin, back to you. Mara, I know you said as soon as you walked in, you were able to get attention. How long should people anticipate that an appointment will take? Probably about an hour. I think it depends on whether you have given blood recently. I haven't, mm -hmm. so there was a bunch of questionnaire that I had to fill out to make sure that I, you know, was an applicable donor. So I plan about an hour, but sure. they want to get you in and out of here, and they're not having you, you know, mill around. Absolutely. Back to you. Urgent need for donations now. Okay, Mara, thanks. Devin.